Hey YouTube, it's Friday, um, what is this, the 5th or 6th of October? Anyway, um, I had a chance to go and cut the pine logs, and I did. And you can see it's some really nice stuff. You got about 20 inches there, 16. This, is the, this one's a little bent, but the rest of them are really nice. Some mature trees, you can tell by the bark there, white pine. So all this from here over is white pine. So I put the end of one, the shortest end was a tw was an 8 footer, I cut those in 12's. This is an 8 footer, so I didn't cut any siding yet, I figured I'd let you guys be the first ones to see it as well as myself. So if I make an, iz an idiot out of myself, it's going to be live. Alright, so you can see you can see the blade there has a nice uh, angle to it. I got a quarter of an inch here and I'm down three quarters on that side. So that gives me a half inch and a quarter inch thickness there. So this is my first try. We're going to set it up. We're going to run it down there see how it goes. I'm sorry if the camera's noise is loud from the, um, from the mill. So just hang in there though with me. Uh, this stuff is so sappy. Yeah. 
first time I've used this blade since I sharpened it the other day. Nice and straight. Not bad.
there yet. So I would say that this thing seems to work pretty good. saying here is I think that 
Where the heck is it? It's in this camera. I can't find my guide here. Oh, here it is. There it is. I'm too close. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, there it is. What I'm saying is, I'm too close to this guide here now to cut another piece of siding. However, um, I've got two inches there. Now the problem with it is that two inch piece is uh, canted a little bit. It has a little bit of an angle to it. So what I could do is take it off the, my um, take it off my t uh, bevel. Uh, I don't even know what you call them. My bevel things that I made. Just take them out, lay the piece of wood down on the saw table, and cut it flat. And that'll I can cut one more piece out of that. Now the problem with this here is it's right at two inches now, so it's going to be like one and three quarters. Which I like working with full size boards, but hey, one and three quarters ain't the end of the world. So let me uh, get you back here out of the way here a little bit and that's what I'm going to do. I am going to take that last piece I got the dog off I'm going to pull these out of here this piece of wood down on the saw bunk, the, old, the original bunk, and I'm going to get a 2 by out of this, as, as well as one more piece of siding. Let me move you over here where I'm out of your way. Just go for the two inch thickness, which would be right there. So, what I'm cutting now is a two by um, eight out of this thing.
it's a two by eight by eight I got it left over from that. So with the guides the way I have them set up on these boxes, that seems like that's always gonna be what happens. Now I could cut this guide down a little, but if you look here at the end of this, you'll notice that if you're cutting close to the edge of the tree, you're liable to miss holding it. So I don't mind having a two by, at least it's not, you know, something stupid that I can't work with. So I can work with that. So I'm happy with that. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, first time using the um, bevel tool. cutting lap siding and I have to say that it looks like a success. Looks like a success to me. <laughs> Boy that sap is really sticky. This tree was standing tall this morning about two, two hours ago. So I'll have to put this in, in my construction lumber bin. And I'm considering putting the, let me take the camera off here. I'm considering putting the um, siding out to dry a little bit. Now here's my thoughts if you guys have any comments. On normal siding, you would try to nail in such a way that you would hit both pieces of siding. Now let me give you an example of that. Just hang in there. So this is 8 inch siding. You're looking at a 4 inch reveal. Now if I nail this piece when I put it up 5 inches above and then I never nail this piece 5 inches above I'm going to be missing that siding. The bottom siding. And I actually think that that's the better uh, call because here's why. If I put two nails in one of these pieces of lap siding and it shrinks, it's going to split. Okay, if I put two nails, it's going to split the board. But if I put one nail per board, one here, you know, nailing it all the way down, one here, and then put this siding on and nail this above that one, there's, there's less chance of the board splitting. So I saw a lot of people on the videos I've looked at for lap siding. Um, now this is the first time I've ever cut lap siding. This is not the first time I'll be hanging lap siding. So to me, if you're going to work with this stuff, it should not be face nailed. It should be only nailed at five inches up. That'll miss the underlying board. It'll only put a nail in the top board that you're working with. And when they dry, and the one thing you don't want to do is stain this stuff now. You'd want to put this on, let it dry for a couple of weeks, and then stain it. Then your chances of you having any real bad, uh, you know, lines that aren't stained underneath the wood are slim. Or you could stain the whole thing ahead of time and then put it up. So that's a thought as well. You know, if you stain it ahead of time, um, it'll all be one color underneath, so you won't have to worry about a gap when it shrinks. So, I need to think about that a little bit, but there we go, and we've got a 2x8 there that's worth something, and um, guys, have a good one. It's a longer video than normal, but that's where I'm at today. Bye.